Hey, what's up, beautiful souls? Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. I hope that this message finds you in a centered, present place, and I hope that you have been able to find peace and, and calm and stillness in the, the chaos that is the external world right now. I want to just talk to you about hope and the importance of envisioning a better future for ourselves as humans, as, as family members, as brothers, sisters, um, a future of togetherness, a future of shared perspective and not in a sense of right or wrong, but shared perspective as in something different, you know, because as you see so much and as I fell victim to, there is so much opinion and so much weight put on people's opinions of what they think is going on in this world. And no matter what you think, no matter if it's right or wrong, it should never create a space for you to be hateful, to be judgmental, to be just downright nasty and mean to each other. And <clears throat> over the past week, I found myself giving in to those, those egoic temptations of, of wanting to be right, of wanting to know everything, of wanting to uh, be the one that, that says, I told you so, this is what's happening, you know, and that's, that's my ego, and that's something that I fought for so long and over the past few years to find my spiritual center and, and my heart center to, to create a better life for not only myself, but for my loved ones around me. So um, these times are challenging and, and they bring up fear and they bring up uncertainty. And, you know, they, they <clears throat> man's greatest fear is the unknown. And we're, we're standing right in the middle of that unknown right now. And with everything that's going on around the world and in the media, which the media it, to me, is nothing more than a, a, a fear, a fear propaganda machine, and um, I don't want to get into my beliefs on what I think is going on, but just know that that take everything you hear from the the box that you watch with a grain of salt, and really collect information from all facets of life and all different uh, external sources, and, and bring them and sit with them. Um, you know, if you always think your way is right and you, you don't look at other opinions or perspectives, then, then you'll never grow and you'll never evolve as a human and as a soul. So the way I do it is I, you know, I just, I collect as much information as, a, as possible and I put my beliefs aside and just collect information and collect light from all over and I find my center in that and there are many things that I discard and there are many things that I implement into my train of thought and, and into my truth. And when I find that middle, or what I perceive as the middle, I then pray and ask God for guidance. And I ask my guides and I ask the angelic realm and I ask the ascended masters to show me, give me signs, show me that I'm on the right path, show me that I am leading from heart center and my ego isn't running away with, with external information. And really that has been my, my guiding light, my guiding principle through all this uncertainty is, is really just returning to center with the information and asking God to help guide me as to what direction that that information is supposed to take me in life and what I'm supposed to share and um, I've been a bit absent from making videos because I my ego is very strong and my spirit is too but in, in uncertain times I often catch my ego coming back and reverting into old paradigms that I work so diligently to break down 
and to let go of judgments of, of self is really what judgments of others are. They are a direct projection of my self judgments. But, you know, I've really, really worked the last few years of my life getting rid of those old paradigms. So um, that is the, the reason for my, my absence in making videos. But I feel centered and I feel the light is prevailing and I feel like we are coming closer and closer to the end of this and um, closer to the truth being revealed and not the truth that the media portrays or your buddy portrays or whoever betrays but the, the universal truth and the divine truth. I think it's, it's very close and, and I pray for each and every one of you going through hardship right now whether you are affected directly from this this virus or if your financial situation because of layoffs or losing um, a job is, is stressing you, I pray for you and your family. I, I pray for your loved ones. I pray for humanity to not only come out of this uh, with a new perspective on, on how we should live our life and what is important to us because Really, if, if you sit back and, and you detach emotion and, and fear from this, what this really has done is it's created a space for us to be at home with our families and to homeschool our children and teach our children what is important and, and not some of the trivial stuff that, that the factory working educational system that has not been revamped in some time uh, deems necessary for us to grow because it doesn't highlight unique individuals and their unique abilities you know it it creates a factory working you know you know it, this it needs updated so we're able to homeschool our children and, and really teach our children what's important it's also really highlighted our health mental health and physical health this has us questioning everything again, and that is so important to growth and evolution. So if you can, you can step back and look at this in a beautiful light, just know that this is happening for a reason. And no matter what you believe to be true, the truth is you're at home with your family and you are questioning your health decisions, you're questioning the food you intake, you're questioning your own immune system because we've ignored these things for so long and we haven't taken our health serious, we haven't taken our mental health serious, all in the name of chasing the mighty dollar or keeping up with your neighbor on the whatever, you know, comparing and competing has gotten us away from our soul essence of of breathing, of, of drinking water, of eating nutritional food, and the change is here. No matter what layer you wanna look at it, if you wanna look at it on a, on a macro level and moving into the age of Aquarius fully and escaping energies of the past, or if you wanna look at it as this virus locking us in our house was houses with our families, um, it's a really beautiful time, man. And it's, it's bringing up fears that people need to address and that people have refused to address, not only in this lifetime, but for many lifetimes. Because as a soul being, you are continually being faced with these lessons if you don't heed the lessons. And, and they get louder, and they get louder. And we must be mindful of, of where we need to grow and where we need to evolve not only for ourselves in this lifetime but for our lineage for many lifetimes because you know we we think of this independence of you know I can do anything on my own but really with humanity we need to work and focus on interdependence and and think about our future lineage and and the things and the genes that we are passing down the, to them and the DNA that we have allowed to lay dormant for generations as far as empathy and compassion, uh, we really need to work on reactivating those strands of DNA and um, 
helping our lineage evolve into more heart-centered beings that, that are more connected to the, to the divine source. Um, so sending out <sighs> waves of love, centeredness, compassion, empathy, if somebody has a different viewpoint from you and is, is coming at you from a, a left of center place or a right of center place, then, then have compassion for them and, and understand and, and see through their lenses that that stress and fear of the unknown can, can make humans really dive into the toxic ego. So give yourself grace. Give the collective grace at these uncertain times and, and have faith in God because God always wins. I love you. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful Easter weekend. Very symbolic times, whether you're a Christian or not. Jesus was a man that, that sacrificed um, his human life for the greater good of humanity and um, I think there is a lot of deep truth in Jesus' life and, and his practices of fasting and, and giving up humanly desires to connect with God and really be one with God and have that God realization that we are the co-creators of our lives. And um, so I'm grateful for all of you listening. I'm grateful for the sacrifices that you are making and I'm grateful for the love that we all share and the the oneness. So have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your family. Much love and many blessings.